For advisors, there are numerous resources available, whether that's previous advising team, house corporation, individuals on campus, um, the National Fraternity website, tons of people on campus, other chapter members. Uh, I think the chapter president is one huge resource that you could have within the chapter once you get started. But uh, initially, I think previous chapter advisor, Greek advisor on campus, and the national fraternity would be able to answer any and all questions that would arise. Expectations for advisors would be to give a commitment to the chapter itself. Um, it, it'll be intense at first, but uh, it, it will get easier as time goes along. Um, basically, one of the biggest points would be your presence at the chapter house, being there for the individuals to advise them, to mentor them, and just to guide them and answer questions throughout the year. Uh, there's going to be chapter meetings, executive committee meetings, uh, meetings for recruitment, for finance, any of those type of meetings. Uh, it's very important for the chapter advisor to be present uh, so that you can just sit there and guide them. And oftentimes listening is, is the best thing you can do. Starting off, it's going to take a lot of time. Uh, depending on the number of men that are in your chapter, whether it's 30, 40, 50, or even 60, it's going to take a while for you to get to know those guys. And for you to build a reputation, you're going to have to know them by name and possibly know their major, where they're from, and be able to connect to them with, I guess, on a personal level. You're going to have to attend a chapter meeting a week, possibly an executive committee meeting once a week. So you're looking at three hours a week for possibly the first couple months, and then from then on, a couple meetings a week. In my opinion, one of the key successes to a chapter would be having an advising team made up of possibly five members, one of which would be the ch main chapter advisor, possibly an assistant chapter advisor to help in his absence. Then you would have an advisor for recruitment, finance, and then pledge ship activities. I think if you cover all of your bases with all those areas, uh, it fills in all of the gaps and allows the chapter to really be very successful. Exit plans are very important. Uh, not only within the chapter itself, but with also the chapter advising team. Uh, priorities in life change, uh, time schedules change, jobs happen, uh, possibly advisors move, and it's always good to have someone else in place ready to fill that role if the need arises. I think a really good starting point would be for advisors to commit to a three-year period uh, for their role. I think that that gives them enough time to get in learn how to advise, learn how to mentor, and build a special relationship with the undergraduates. I feel that if you commit less, you're really doing a disservice to the chapter by having too much turnover for alumni volunteers. And with an exec committee um, being one year of service and possibly undergraduates only spending three years in the chapter house, uh, you're not getting a lot of face time with those individuals and you're not really making an impact. I think it's very important for alumni to get back involved with their chapter. Uh, undergraduates are young, they're green, uh, they're just starting their college experience. Uh, they have tons of stuff on their plate, uh, activities in and outside of the classroom, and uh, they just need guidance. They need someone to sit, um, mentor them, make sure that uh, they're keeping their nose clean and uh, they're doing the right thing. I think being an advisor is very challenging. Um, it's time consuming, but it is so worth it. I think that once you get involved, you're going to love every minute of it.